next medication uh, may be designed uh, by artificial intelligence. Biotech firm in silico medicine, beginning human trials of a drug development. The probability of that happening is very low. But innovation never stops. If you are targeting the lung, you should not take the drug orally. In the future, you can just infill the compound and it can give a much better efficacy. Dr. Ram, are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, Johnson. All right. Thank you for coming again. Uh, you've seen the device. And uh, just a little bit of background. In Silico started as an AI-first company. So we are originally the company that was focused on algorithm development. Many companies in um, AI-powered drug discovery actually decided to stick with a model where they just service the pharmaceutical industry. Very, very few that provide both software and also go after their own drug discovery. We used uh, AI to identify a novel target, purposed that target into idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, uh, generated small molecules using AI, and now it entered phase two in the US and in China. And we have a large portfolio of other drugs going into human clinical trials right now and are in the human clinical trials. And all that is thanks to Dr. Ren. Just now, Alice has introduced our first uh, compound in clinical trial phase two. Today, we are, we are very excited to announce that we are nominated the preclinical candidate for the same compound, but with an inhalable formulation for the same indication. So firstly, IPF is a, is a chronic lung disease, uh, and uh, it's a resulting in a progressive loss of lung function. But we have demonstrated already the uh, preclinical efficacy superior to the current drug. And also in the phase one trial, our compound has shown good safety. But now uh, we continue our innovation. So in future, people don't need to eat the compound. It can just inhale the compound and it can give a much better efficacy. So comparing to the oral formulation, the inhalable formulation will provide a lot of advantages. The low dose of inhalable will give you the similar efficacy. It has a rapid onset of action, uh, especially for the lung disease, because it goes to the lung directly, and the lung have a large surface area. It can absorb very quickly. Second, it will re uh, significantly reduce the side effects, especially the GI tract uh, side effects. It can provide a very high bioavailability. You need a very small dose with a lot of reduced side effects. Our compound, uh, 055, uh, have its great profiles to be developed as an inhalable formulation. Firstly, it has very good solubility. Secondly, very good stability. So that we can put in a solution and we can keep it for a long time. And in the toxicology, we have more than 100 folds of the uh, uh, therapeutic window uh, in the technology, I want to mention that it's a more advanced drug de delivery system. So the barriers to the genetics is higher than the oral formulation. So lastly, the inhalation via PO oral administration, we can achieve uh, a bigger therapeutic window so that in a clinic, we have a much higher confidence that uh, we can achieve the good efficacy with less or no side effects. That's a huge of uh, uh, what uh, lab work has been done. So firstly, we have spent a lot of time to develop the formulation. But the inhalation is very different from the oral formulation. And also, in the preclinical studies, we, we have done both bleomycin-induced uh, lung fibrosis model in mouse and also the uh, acute lung injury uh, mouse model. So we have done a lot of models to demonstrate the inhalable formulation can really bring an uh, advantage. It's easy to use, right? So we have that uh, uh, dose well, so it's uh, with two uh, milliliter. We can break that dose uh, well and put these uh, solutions in this uh, nebulizer, and you can start to inhale either with a mouthpiece or face mask. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Ren. Uh, it's really amazing. What we have done here is just very lucky, plus AI plus China plus efforts of many, 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 many people globally. Here it's super convenient. You just put it on and uh, enjoy your favorite Netflix show.
we can possibly turn into even a digital therapeutic because we can take pictures of the side of the wall to see how much you are consuming uh, and um, when are you consuming, etc. So yeah, we will circulate this around so you can uh, uh, check out the experience. You just press the button and the device starts nebulizing and you can actually see it better here. It's kind of like a vapor. We want to get it into human clinical trials as soon as possible because I think that if you are targeting the lung, you should not take the drug orally. Whatever you're gonna see from in silico, it might not be super exciting, but we will never be boring. So then, thank you very much for coming, so. Um, thank you. Thank you.